welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Chiang Mai so today we're gonna go have lunch I had one of my viewers ask is there a place not street food but a place where uh, my spouse and I could have a, a, a good lunch for under 20 bucks well I think we can do this so we're gonna take a ride and we're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants I'm gonna pass it on to my co-pilot and we're gonna make this happen Ready? Ready.
All right, so we made it here. I think it's pronounced Sante Mekong restaurant. Um, let's go inside and see what we got. All right, so step inside here. We're going to take a look at the menu and see what we got. That's the, uh, this is the spicy stuff. Stir fried chicken with cashew nuts? That's it. Okay. Chicken. Uh huh. Spicy. Not spicy. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy. My. Yeah, keep my. My name. Oh, okay. <laughs> my name's no spicy. Okay. Yeah. So much to choose from here. I'm going to show them the menu here in a while. So what we ordered was we ordered uh, chicken with cashew nuts. My wife says non-spicy. <laughs> she's, she's, like she's not a fan of the spice spice too much. Um, and then we ordered a 
uh, a side of morning glory so we can both share that and eat that. And then I'm having the red curry with chicken. Tell them what morning glory is. So morning glory is a green vegetable and it's hard to describe. If some of you have had callaloo or that kind of, it's a green uh, vegetable, but uh, the texture is mostly like, what do you think the texture it's like is? It's spinach with a little broccoli. Yeah, spinach um, with a little kind of the broccoli, yeah. And you can get it made any kind of way. It kind of absorbs the taste of uh, the flavor of whatever spice you use. So I ordered it with um, oyster sauce, right? And it's very good. It is very good. Very good for you. Too. Yeah, so this right here is um, a place that our neighbors and friends, John and Jan, they tell us about. It's on the highway. You can see the highway, but it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like you're you know, next to the highway too much. You can hear the noise some. But it's really a green space, and I'm going to walk around and show you a little of it. If you were to go over there, you probably wouldn't even see the highway. Yeah. So I'm walking down the stairs right now. It's like being in the treehouse. Swati Cup. So this is a very green space right here. A little waterfall action going on there. So there's so many different places you could sit here. If you were to sit here, you could see the rice field there. Ah, absolutely gorgeous out there. So this right here is considered the the kind of the dry season, and so we don't get a whole lot of rain. But um, when it's the wet season, my understanding is. It's even greener than what you see right here. We're going to take a look at this menu and see what else is on this menu. So this is our menu right here. They have a little bit of everything. I hope this you can see from here. But um, Tom Yun, they have all kind of dyed, uh, deep fried fish, fish patties. Papaya salad is very spicy, but good. Uh, there's a catfish menu. You can see where it's broken down. Catfish menu, they have sea bass. They have other fish. Let's see if you get right there. Other fish as well on there. The different types of curry. Let me get up close right here. And as you can see, this is a really nice environment. And we're all gonna, also gonna show you, this right here is a different stir fry. Like I said, my wife has the chicken stir fry with cashew nuts. Spicy salads right there. Papaya salad. Look at their northern Thai food right here. Northeast food. Hot and spicy soup with pork ribs. There you go. Fried rice with shrimp. Fried rice with egg. Fried rice with seafood. This menu is endless. Steak salad. And there's even a coconut menu. 
stir fry seafood curry powder with young coconut, spice soup with shrimp and young coconut. Over here, there's some other main courses. And like I say, this menu goes on and on and on. Here's our drink menu. Those are your different coffees. Those are your fancy coffees, and even those are about $3 right there. You have your lattes. And so it goes on and on. But we're going to wait for our food, and we'll be right back. So check this out. This is my stir-fried in red curry. We both have a rice each. And we have the um, the morning glory in oyster sauce. And there is the uh, what is that? Our cashew, cashew stir fried cashew. It has red peppers, cashew nuts, onions, mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. Oh man, so good! Alrighty, so I'm going to eat right now. Um, what else can we show? So I think this is all our meals, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine, yours, one so let's start with your your cashew. How is that? Much delicious. Yep. Did they get the spice level right? Yes, zero. <laughs> zero spice level. Alrighty. So I'm gonna get started. Alrighty. <laughs> oh no, I got to point it right at me. I got my plate over here. I got my silverware over here. Put some oh, rice on so the plate good. here. Well, actually, we, we kind of came near the road. And hopefully, the, the road noise is not too loud for you. But there are places away from here that tables, as I showed you when I took you for the walk there. But, um,. So what I asked for is a little spice. Let's see how that works out for me. <laughs> so this is a red sauce. And look at that right there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it has a kick to it. The morning glory is saturated in garlic. I love it. Yeah. Let's look at Dana in the morning glory. So how is it? Really good. How's the sauce? Is the sauce spicy or? It's very light. It looks like <coughs> looks like there's a lot, but mm -hmm. it's just like marinated. It's really fresh and crispy still. Okay. So just to remind you, we have two main courses, and then we have a morning glory that we're we're sharing together. And chances are, we're probably not going to be able to eat all of this. And I tell you, my uh, uh, camera, camera, work with me, camera. Mm -hmm. So this right here is so good. The vegetables here are very fresh. Um, there's like a, 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 a green beans and big peas. There, I like the peas, the green peas in America. But there's a big pea. Let me see if I can show it to you. So there's a pea right there. It's delicious. It's crunchy. There's so many flavors in here, your mouth explodes. And so, but, and this is just one plate, so I'll probably have enough for a second small plate of food, too. What is that? Is it inside of it? Hmm. I'm going to test the morning glory. The Morning Glory is one of those things you could eat on rice or you can eat by itself. Both work out. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. I wish they had like smell a vision <laughs> and like taste bud a vision. That's even word. But it is so delicious. I'm so glad that we discovered this place right here. Well, that we were told about this place. Mm. 
Um, and we always say we're going to try to make room for dessert. We never have room for dessert. Never. The spice level is just right. It's just enough to wake up your taste buds and remind you that you're still alive. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing bland about this. One thing I've learned about eating in Thailand, um, you're going to have to be patient. This didn't take forever, by no means. But by the same token, when you know your food is being cooked fresh right there, it's definitely worth it. When it comes out, you could tell it wasn't microwaved, you know, that they, they, they put their heart and soul in this. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to eat a little bit. And stick around to the end because um, we're going to talk about how much this costs. So hang on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my gosh. You probably don't want to watch me eat for the next 10 minutes. But <clears throat> we're going to be right back and I'm going to show you the food one more time and then we'll tell you how much we pay for it. There we go. I'm about halfway done with that there. There's our morning glory. Not one, but we had two rice. As you can see, mine is gone. There's her chicken cashew. I'm not finishing any more than that right there. And that's so. what I have left right there. So we'll be right back and we're gonna wrap it up here shortly. And then we'll talk about price. And um, you know, you can judge for yourself. Is it worth the value? And uh, yeah, be right back. So we have wrapped up lunch and I am a big guy. I ate enough food to uh, definitely fill me up for lunch. But check this out right here. We have leftovers. We have enough leftovers for dinner. And so with that said, that right there, so just to like go over it again, we had uh, the chicken with cashew. Uh, that was Dana's. Uh, with the white rice. I had a white rice and also I had a uh, stir-fried chicken in a red curry. And then we also had the morning glory in oyster sauce. So each had an entree plus we shared the morning glory with a lot left over from that. Um, she also had a iced coffee. That macchiato. Was a, caramel macchiato, macchiato. Caramel macchiato. Uh, so all of that came to a grand total of 530 baht which is $14.88. So what I'm saying for the viewer who asked me that question, you know, can I go to a, a nice restaurant with a nice ambiance and enjoy a meal that won't break the bank? You know, I don't know many places in the States that you can have one person eat for $14.88. You can barely go to a drive-thru and eat for $14.88. And this right here is not about bashing any place. Uh, from the beginning of this video, I've always said that this was about saying what's possible. And what's possible is that you can enjoy your meal, take some home and have dinner, all for a reasonable price. As always, thank you for joining me. Please subscribe if you have not done so. I want to continue to bring you content that you can use. Have a great one, and I will see you in the next one.